Welcome to the Spin Cycle Show, live on Slack City Radio. Two years ago in May, in May I won a competition yeah. to, to play. I only started mixing a couple of years ago. What competition? So, uh, it was a Sultry Sounds, Sultry Sounds competition. So, oh, sick. Yeah, yeah. So I just threw a little mix together before I went out, put that in, and uh, I won that. So that got me a set of folks. I played, I played a multifunction night in May, nerve-wracking. Um, but that was oh, nearly two years ago now, and I played amazing, down there loads man. since then, you know. Like, yeah, that's home for me, you know. Oh wow, yeah, that's man. amazing. What actually made you want to get into DJing? Well, funnily enough, like I mean, I've been listening to drum and bass since since day dot, and um, it was my son, as it happens, he was nine, and he said to me, he turned around to me one day and said, "Dad, I know what I want to do in my life." And I said, "What, what, what, son? You know, whatever it is, I support you." And he said, "I want to be a drum and bass DJ." So no I went, way. "No way!" So I shot down to the shops, bought him all the gear, um, then he went back to his mum's for a week, and I thought to myself, "Ah, oh, do you know what? If I'm going to help him, if I'm going to support him, I better know." Yeah. it all works so yeah, I got yeah, it out yeah. I had a little tiny controller oh, like that wow. a little, little new mark, little new mark I got that out and I started messing around with it and by the time he came back I was hooked man I was like, get off, it's, it's my go. Oh, wow, that's so me and him have like, So me and him have been on that journey, like that journey together, you know, like like since that, yeah. since day one and, and he's doing really well as well. He's got some bookings this year and he's, he's got a festival to play in July Mate. and some some exciting stuff coming up and he's 11. So like, he's, got the, he's got the fire in him for, for, the, for the beats, you know, so. Uh, yeah, so for those that don't know, talking about his son, Bamboo, I believe. That's right, yeah. Yeah, so he tried to get him to join us today, but then just obviously, um, yeah, that couldn't happen. So we're going to try and sort out some street interviews to get a couple of words from himself so i thought you was doing it for ages no, man. and then like you were like showing him the ropes no, and then now you're bringing him as, up as he will tell anybody that wants to listen it was all his idea and it's it's down to him that i'm now you know oh I'm wow now, that's I'm amazing man i mean I, I tried mixing on vinyl in the 90s and and um i found it quite quite tra challenging back then it is so challenging it is you know so i went on to put parties so i promoted parties for years and years i thought you know what if i can't dj myself i'm gonna yeah book other people to play yeah. i was one of those really annoying promoters that was always up in the booth saying play that one next oh, play that one drop that one next i <laughs> hate those promoters oh my look mate so for myself because i'm just like mate if you're going to tell me what songs to play you <laughs> might as well do you, know, do you know i mean just come jump on the next yeah mate. yeah so so um but yeah I've, i mean it's just been a massive part of my life since i was i mean i went to a spiral tribe rave when i was 14 i think like 1990 before man. before jungle was even a thing you know what i mean yeah, and, yeah, and then yeah. i used to go to the rage nights uh, with fabio group rider down at heaven in 93 and and that you wow. know that's where it was that's where it was born you know the break beats and the house music coming together and um i've been very blessed man like you know renegade hardware nights at the end all of the i mean just so many too many to too, too many, many to yeah. even mention do you know what i mean but you know it's, it's been a big part of my life since i since i can't even remember when so are you a pure drum and bass head or yeah, do it, you like no nah, man i'm married to drum and bass and i'm i'm faithful you know so <laughs> what's with all this different like sub genres in it yeah rollers there's yeah, like that's jump it. up Correct. was there's was it neuro funk or is it just neuro or neuro what? neuro funk yeah okay I mean, yeah i mean I, if i was to try and put a, a put a if i was to try and pin down my sound yeah i would say that you know i like kind of techie rollers on a sort of minimal minimal on the side of minimal you know yeah. but but I'll, I'll mix anything you know what like, is minimal it's just it's just laid back bare it's just sort of it's just sort of stripped back you know Ain't bare, that like liquid bare, bare, you bare say that's liquid or nah not really but then but then but you know what is liquid liquid's more sort of liquid's more melodic for me okay. you know it's got more of a kind of you know, I think rollers, it's hard to pin. It's, you know, the thing mm. is that, that genres are all in the eye of the beholder, really. Like someone will tell you that's a techie minimal roller and someone else will say, oh, it's not. Yeah, it's that, yeah, that's it's blah, a liquid blah, blah, tune yeah. or, you know, and, and I mean, I think that, you know, under the banner of, of, of drum and bass or jungle, you know, everything you can mix for an hour and, and get through every single sub genre there is, you know. It just depends oh, what wow. kind of what kind of vibe you're on, you know, what kind of journey you want to take. People oh, wow. on. Yeah. So, how does it feel like playing at Volks on the new? Did you play before that they got the new sound system and after the sound system? I think I think I caught it just before they changed it. And uh, oh man, it kicks in there. Like I've I've op I opened a main room last year for the multi for another multifunction night. Meth just was playing. That was sick. Nice man. Um, generally, you'll find me throwing down in the basement and and to be honest with you the vibes down there are impeccable man it's like it's like it's Room like two business in it you know that bruv it's like it's like <laughs> um it's like house party mad house party if, like if you had a mad basement in your house and no neighbors within a mile of you and you run yep. some fat parties that's what 
Yeah, if I was running parties yeah, in my yeah. basement, that's what they'd be like. Mate, the sound system is phenomenal. It does get packed. Like sometimes it gets more heaving than the main room because people are either in room two or in the smoking area. You know that, brother. <laughs> and also people, because because a lot of the DJs that play down there are local. Yeah. You know, the support that comes... Unless, like, the big headliner tends to grab everyone, regardless of whether they're your mate or not. But, like, if, if you know, like, if I go down and play down there, I've normally got 30, 40 people in the yeah. club that I know. Do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And they're all going to come down and check me out. So yeah, the yeah. vibes down there are sick, man. Do you know what it's I mean? It's nice, man. I think I said to you the other day, I think I put a message on something. I said, I haven't, I have not been to a nightclub in as long as I can remember since the 90s that has the same, has that, that, that special vibe that the Volks has. You know, it's, it's like, it's like home to so many of us. Do you know what I mean? So like, nice, we man. just can't wait, man. Saturday, rave day, every everybody's on the chat getting excited do you know what i mean and like now half of us play down there all the time yeah. so it's like you know what time are you on and you know it's a vibe man i just wish it was summer more fun uh, in the, it'll be it's more in fun the summer. in the summer bruv do you know what i mean <laughs> it's definitely more banging in the summer so i just filmed something when i finished the saturday shift even and it was like seven in the yeah, morning I saw it and the sun was just coming up yeah yeah and now just imagine when summer's coming up when people just walk across the road and it's Everyone's just like on the beach till dude, 10 o'clock and you have to remember to take when you the amount of times i've left the house at midnight and then gone and had to go back and get my sunglasses because by 3.30 yeah, it's man. bare daylight in the smoking, in the smoking area do you Literally, know what I mean you, man. Wanna, you, know, you need to make sure you got those when you're coming out it's mad <laughs> so what kind of music and what kind of style or mood you into today when you're going to yeah, be doing I the think we'll, I think we'll do I think we'll, we'll stick with we'll stick with what I, with my favourite we'll go yeah techie techie rollers man yeah techie, techie rollers, rollers yeah yeah let's do that I like vocals as well like I like there's a lot of I've noticed recently there's kind of a big crossover between sort of grime and drum and bass seem to be having like a bit yeah, of a, a, little bit. a bit of a love affair do you know yeah. what I mean I think P Money probably started it yeah and, he's um, smashing it yeah and Flo Dan's got chat you know yeah. so I like I like all those kind of dirty basement like lyrics do you know what I mean so that's mad man. expect some of that yeah so I just saw on, I don't know, on social media was it Flo Dan the first yeah, artist yeah won a Grammy you know yeah, yeah won a Grammy I was just like right oh, I, I. <laughs> I mean people have people seem to have lots of views on on you know drum and bass becoming mainstream and, mm -hmm. and you know for me it's nothing but a good thing man you know even if even if the kids are brought into it with artists that aren't particularly credible yeah. or I don't particularly yeah, like yeah. the whole point is that it's just that's all like gateway it's all like it's like gateway drum and bass yeah. do you know what I mean and once people get into it if they dig they're gonna you know the underground scene's never gonna die it, it doesn't matter who's playing at Wembley Arena or whatever yeah. you know where there's clubs like Volks yeah. floating about there's always going to be you yeah. know there's always going to be people that are there for the love of it you know what I mean so and the DJs can I just say that they all love the vibe they all love to play they all like love the music they're there week in week out they're doing like oh, double triple business, shifts and you know, you know what I mean? Mean? even the stuff you know what I love one it's love crazy it. I know we just seem to be talking about Volks now but you know one of the things I love about it is that the staff just they're all just they're as much there for the vibe as they are for yeah. the no one works there for the money do you, yeah, know, yeah. Do you know what I mean yeah man you know you don't work start work at 10 and finish Mate. at 7 and, yeah and, well, I know, you know it's mad really, isn't it unless you really like it you yeah I mean? you want to jump on the Dex. Hell yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Oh yeah. Where can people find you, by the way? Uh, me. You can get me on Instagram, overproof underscore DMV. Um, yeah. I'd say that's my main channel, SoundCloud, Facebook. It's all overproof. It's all basically overproof underscore DMV. The, the Instagram will take you take you everywhere, basically. But but check me out on Insta. That's where I do most of my posting. Guys, make sure that you check out overproof on the Insta. Are you jumping on... Um, Twitter, are uh, you on Twitter or are you yeah, on, uh, never, what's it never called? Never done X. No, I've never done that. TikTok? No, not yet. No, no. I'm, sticking, I'm sticking with it. Insta, Insta strikes me as as, uh, as the best platform. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. calm then, man. Okay. So, yeah, I want to see what we've got. We're going to be also filming this as well. So, for people who actually want to listen to it and see the visuals of Overproof smashing his guest mix on Slack City Spin Cycle, then check us out on the YouTube. Thank you for listening to the Spin Cycle Show. See you next week.